make sure that this is clear. Um, if I, there's four great ways to name a polar coordinate. Um, so let's say that they've given me a rectangular point, um, and I'm going to make this friendly. Um, let's say it's uh, the point two negative. Hang on, let me think just a second. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, and now it's um, negative 2 root 3. Okay, if that's the rectangular point, now we know, um, sorry, I should have picked one ahead of time. We know that this is in quadrant 4. We've got over 2 and down um, 2 root 3. This is 2, this is uh, negative 2 root 3. <coughs> Sorry, still getting over my cold. Okay, if I want to figure out this radius right here and, and know this angles, um, I can do Pythagorean theorem to find this other side. I also know that this is um, this is uh, x, x root 3, and so this would be 2x. So this would have a radius of 4. This is opposite that. This is that 60 degree angle. So really and truly, I just am remembering my geometry for a bit. So we can think of this as being the point out here. Um, where we, our theta is um, pi, we've gone uh, a negative pi over 3, or we've gone in this direction, we've gone 5 pi over 3. And then our radius, so our theta is equal to, to 5 pi over 3, and our radius would be equal to 4. Um, so if that's the point that I'm looking at, I'm down here somewhere, I can, I can identify this point, um, I can have it as a positive, positive, a positive, negative, a negative, positive, or a negative, negative. And if you think through this, this will give you all four possible ways from negative 2 pi to 2 pi uh, of naming this point. Um, so keep in mind, in, in rectangular form, this is your x value, this is your y value, but in polar form, in polar form, this is your r, this is your theta, which is a little confusing because we usually want to do theta first, but it gets written second, so there's that. Um, okay, so if I want a positive and a positive, I have to go in a positive, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think in terms of the angle first. So I'm going to go in a positive angle, and to coming, coming to get to here, um, that was a positive 5 pi over 3. And then I had a radius of 4, so that's a positive 4. So there's the first one. Um, if I have a positive negative, that means I'm going, the, ne the angle is negative, the radius is still positive. So if I want the angle to be negative, that means I need to come this way and then stop at negative pi over 3 and then come down a positive 4r. Um, so that's a positive 4r and a negative pi over 3. And that's, that's giving me a positive radius and a negative theta. The next one, I wanted a negative radius but a positive angle. So that means that I have to think of what this would be to get, to get me here. And then I'm going to turn around and go in the negative direction. Well, going in the positive, that's a positive 2 pi over 3. And then I turn around and go negative 4. Okay, the last one, negative negative, means that I need to now go from here. I need to go in the negative direction to get to that theta and then turn around and go in the negative radius. Um, and so this is a negative, well, this is uh, pi, so that's 3 pi over 3, and that's one more, so that's a negative 4 pi over 3. Negative, oh, so then the, the r is negative 4, the theta is negative 4 pi over 3. So be careful, the, the second part is what we typically need to think of first, but it gets written second. I don't have a good reason why that happens. Um, and hopefully this is helpful. So think in terms of what could possibly go, be positive and negative, and that should help you get all of your values. Good luck to you. Um, anything else I want to tell you in this video? I don't think so. But just be, be careful with all those. Um, and I'm, I'm very likely to give you one of these four and ask for the other three. And so that's what I'm talking about. Good luck.